Hey, it's your boy Felicia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Look, brother, your first assignment that I have for you in moving forward is very, very simple. I just want you to sit back and relax and watch this live uh, 15 to 20 minute training. In this training, I'm going to share with you three secrets that's en enabled me to be able to lose 70 kilos and be unstoppable and uh, doing what I do now where I coach men worldwide that have 40 or more kilos to lose to truly break through and get results. Are you excited for this? So basically what I'm doing now, I'm just going to post up my training notes um, and we're going to get straight into it. Okay, so listen up guys. The purpose of this is to be able to help you become unbelievably confident and have the power to lose 40 plus kilos with the real man path. True? Like reflecting on my journey when I put when I put on the weight, when I went from like 130 to 140 to 150, because I put on all that weight, to be honest, I, I, I've lost a lot of confidence in myself. Like I... I didn't like the way I looked. I felt uncomfortable when I was in social places. And even the task of losing the 70 kilos, it took a lot of grit and it took a lot of determination. And it, looked, it took me a lot of power to be able to gain, to be able to be where, I, be where I am right now. But I'm going to share with you the exact path that's enabled me to be where I am. I'm going to share with you three simple secrets. And if this is you, you're in the right place. So this is from Polynesian men that have been struggling to lose weight their entire life. And you've come to a point where enough is enough. You've lost hope. You've lost confidence. You've lost the motivation. But you just wanted to make it happen. Does that make sense? And so if this is you, you're in the right place. Now, you're probably thinking right now, is this going to be worth it? Is this 15 to 20 minutes um, going to be worth it? And I get it. Like, you're at work. You've got things to do. You've got your family. You've got your children. You know, you've got church. And you've got other responsibilities. But is this 20 minutes going to be worth it? Now, these guys, these men that I'm sharing with you right now, have been able to apply the three secrets that I'm going to share with you, and they've gotten these results. So here you've got um, the one that's that uh, the before and after photo. That is Josh, who's from New Zealand. He's lost 20 kilos within the last five weeks. He's kept it off. Uh, we got Big Mussy here. He he came in at over 330 kilos, and he's lost 30 kilos. Um, and we've just got some you know some extraordinary experiences with the men that I've been working with, and so. Is this going to be worth it? Of course it's going to be worth it because these men are getting results. That Does that make sense? Like I get it. Ultimately for you right now, you just want to hurry up and get the result yesterday. True? Like you've been going through so much uh, heartache and, and, and failure and you've doubted yourself. You've come to a point where like, you know what, you've given up and you've justified that it's going to be being, being, being overweight, but you're struggling right now. So I want to let you know that this time is going to be far spent and it's, it's definitely going to be beneficial for you. Okay, so with that, you know, I'm going to reward you. If you stay with me to the end of this, if you stay with me and you, and you, and you stay with me to the end of this, I'm going to give you a bonus. I'm going to reward you because that's how it is, guys. The more work you put in, the more reward you get out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you the training notes to this live training. I'm going to give you these training notes and you can have it with you and for free. And you can have it with you. You can read over it. You can read it with your partner and you guys can just kind of dive deep to it and apply it to yourself. The second thing that I'm going to do for you, if you're like me, you just like watch videos. Like I'm not really a reading person, but I like to watch videos. I like to watch videos and just kind of sit there and just want to listen. I'm good at that. All right. And then the third thing that I'm going to do when I share with you these three secrets is I'm going to give you an opportunity for me to customize these three secrets that I'm, that I'm going to share with you and apply to yourself for free. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to share with you, you know, the top three things that's helped me to lose 70 kilos and keep it off um, and to become more confident and powerful. But then I'm going to be like, all right, how do I get secret number one and apply it to you? How do I get secret number two and personalize it to you, to your time, you know, to work around your schedule, to work around, you know, your doubts and, and your habits and what are the false beliefs that you're going through right now? Is that cool? Right? So with that, in order for me to be able to give you that bonus, I have a simple agreement, right? Simple agreement with me and you. The agreement is very, very simple. If you stay with me to the end of this, I will share with you the top three things, everything that I know. I want to knuckle it down to three things. But more importantly, if you give me your attention and you watch this, I'm going to give you an opportunity to jump on the phone with me at the end and personalize these three secrets for you for free. Is that cool? And that's an agreement right now. So let me know. Thumbs up. Are we all good, bro? All right. Sweet, sweet. Let's jump into it. Okay. So basically what I want you to do right now, it's very, very crucial that you focus in. It's very, very crucial. I get it. Like you've got Facebook. Netflix, you've got, you know, all like Facebook notifications, Instagram notifications, you've got your children. I just need you to give me a focus. I just need you to make sure you get a pen, right? Get a pen, get a, pad, get a notepad, get a book, 
and just start writing things down. As I share with you these principles, these secrets, I want you to ask yourself, how can I apply these three secrets that Felice is sharing that's been able to help him lose his 70 kilos and keep it off, um, apply it to your life right now? How can you apply that to your life? Is that cool? Because I, don't, I just don't want you to just sit there. I want you to be able to be involved so that you can move forward so you can get the result that you want. Cool? All right. So why, who, who am I and why should you listen to me? True? Because let's be real, right? Like on the internet right now, there's so many people out there talking about weight loss. They're talking about hadith. They're talking about, you know, how to get the abs. And like ultimately, I'm, I'm just, I'm being real upfront with you. Like I want to work with men that are similar to me. And the reason why I, I want to work with men that have been like gone through something similar to me is because I truly know where they are right now. I truly know where you are right now and what you need to do to be able to break through. Does that make sense? Like I get it, man. What separates me from anyone else out there is that I've been through the trenches. I've been, I've been at over 200 kilos. I used to weigh over 200 kilos. And I used to know how it feels to be insecure about my weight. I know, I know how it feels to be breathless. I know how it feels to doubt yourself. I know how it feels to be less of a man because you're not able to man up and take the full responsibility. I know how it feels to walk around feeling tired. Does that make sense? I know these feelings because I know these feelings because I know exactly where you are right now. I know and I've been able to overcome those challenges. And I want to share with you. I want to, instead of you going through what I went through, through those failures, I want to help you just like break through and go straight there because I know where you are. And I know that those around you deserve more. And so basically my vision and what I do and what I've been doing for the last 12 months is my vision is to be able to help 100 Polynesian men. It's to help Polynesian men regain confidence, right? And help husbands and fathers that's put on more than 40 kilos, you know, regain their health. But more importantly, if you look at this, guys, this is us, man. This is our people, right? Can you see it? This is our people. Now, I got this from Google. This is like, you can go to Google right now and write and type up the top 10 most obese nations. Now, if you notice, the top 10 is the Pacific Islanders. Most of them are Pacific Islander countries. America, Samoa, 74%, 75% of the population in America, Samoa is overweight. 70. So out of 10 people that you walk by in America, Samoa, seven of them are overweight, are obese. Three of them are not. You've got Nauru, which is another island off, off Australia. You've got the Cook Islands, 63%. You've got Tokelau, which is 63%. You've got Tonga, which is nearly 60%. You've got Samoa, which is 55%. And so for me, my purpose and my vision and why I do what I do right now is to help my people, help you guys, help you, my brother, that was similar to me. Because I know that the only way that we can change and break the cycle for everyone is to go to the leader. Who are the leaders in the families? Who are the ones that, that dictate and make decisions in the family? Fathers, the husbands, the men. True? And so for me, it's like, if I can help you become a true leader, if I can help you regain your health, then you're going to be able to do the same for your family. Do you see how a bigger vision? Do you see how what we're doing here is extraordinary? Do you see what we're doing here is we're changing not just your life, we're changing those lives around us to be more happy and to be able to live a lot longer, okay? And so if you think about it, who's going to do it? If I don't do it, who's going to do it? We, there, there might be one or two people, one or two guys out there or women out there, but, mate, there's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of Pacific Islanders, there's a lot of Polynesian, of a Polynesian people that are struggling because of weight. Depression, man. Depression is real. Anxiety, right? Low self-esteem. Mobility. And so this is why we do what I do. This is the vision. Behind, and I want you to be a part of this vision. I want you to be able to move forward and do what we're doing here. I want you to be able to be the voice and to be able to share your experience as similar to what I'm doing so that we can impact our people, so that we can help our people become more healthier and more happier. Because that's, you know, that's what it's all about. Okay? And so ultimately, what we're going to do right now is we're going to jump straight into it. Right? How to lose 40 plus kilos with the three with the real man path. And I'm going to share with you three secrets. Now, these are the three secrets, guys, which is this is this is what it all comes down to, right? If, it, if you think about everything that I'll share, nutrition, exercise, mindset, this is what it all comes down to. And what I've related it to is a stool, right? So, like a stool, you know, most of it has three legs, and this is the foundation. 
the, 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 the actual seat itself is us. And so it's yourself. And if you can sit upon these three foundations, you're going to be able to uphold, you're going to be able to, you know, sustain this. But more importantly, you're going to share this with others because this truly works. Secret number one, how to stop stopping in 360 days, 365 days. How many times do you stop on your journey? You go through your journey for one or two weeks and then you stop. True? How many if I was able to help you stick at it for longer than two weeks? Would that be extraordinary? Beautiful. So that's secret number one. Secret number two, how to stay motivated every day for 365 days. Let's be real. In this journey, when I first started, I was motivated maybe 5% of the time. You know, out of 100%, I was five, I was like, out of seven days, I was probably only motivated one day, Monday. But if you built your journey, if you built your weight loss journey on one day, you're not going to be able to get the result because it takes seven days. It takes, it takes consistency. It takes momentum to be able to lose one kilo, five kilos, 10 kilos, 15 to 20 kilos. So imagine if I was able to help you become more motivated longer than one day, longer than a couple of hours, two, three, four, five days, then what? You get a different result and different outcome. True? Powerful, powerful. All right. Secret number three, how to not be discouraged and embarrassed along your journey. True? How many times have you told people that you're going to lose weight? Maybe you told your partner, maybe you told your parents, like, this is the year, this is the week, this is the month, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And then you do it for a couple of weeks and then you fall back. True? And then you feel embarrassed. I'm going to share with you the same thing that I went through and the experience that I went through that I felt discouraged and I felt embarrassed and I stopped. And I stopped for like six months. And I said to myself, why did I stop for six months? So I'm going to help you overcome this um, being discouraged. And how do you overcome being discouraged and embarrassed so that you can achieve your goal? Okay, so secret number one, how to stop stopping in 365 days. How do you stop stopping? How do you keep moving forward? Now, I still remember, I still remember my experience. Now, when I first started putting on weight, me, me and my family, we came together, right? And all my brothers and my cousins, we all came together and we're like, all right, this is what we're going to do. For six weeks, we're going to go hard. We're going to train every day, five days a week. We're going to stick to our nutrition plan. We're all going to put in 100 bucks. Who's done this before? True? We're going to put in 100 bucks and we're going to be like, all right, all right, whoever loses the most weight is going to win the money at the end of it. I think it was about two, three grand. And we went in and we all did it. We all got measured up. We all made sure that we measured up. Everyone made sure that they looked at each other's weight. No one was cheating. And, you know, everyone was exciting. And it was really cool. Like, and then within the first week, you know, we had a messenger group and everyone was chatting. It was like, let's go. 120, baby. Let's go. Let's go. And we're all motivated. We're all doing better boot camps. And then what happened was after the first week, we noticed a couple of the guys, a couple of my cousins just kind of was quiet. They weren't really into it. They weren't really being a part of it. And then what I came to realize is by each week, a lot more of us, of us guys just like dropped off. And I kept that and I kept that and I kept that. I was like, it's only six weeks. It's only six weeks. It's only six weeks. And then by the end of the six weeks, I did lose the weight. I think I lost like 20 kilos and it was, quite, it was really good. But a lot of the guys that were with me, they dropped off and they stopped. After two weeks, they're going hard. They're sticking to the nutrition. And you probably experienced like they're going hard and then they're like, stop. And they stopped because they had a bad meal. They overranked or they maybe they had a bit of KFC or maybe, you know, it was the weekend or they had a wedding or something and they just stopped. And for me, I lost the 20 kilos and I was happy and I was pumped. But what I came to realize is that after six weeks, I put that weight back on within half the time frame. Within three weeks, I put that 20 kilos back on. And I was discouraged and I stopped. And I, like, I stopped for like three months or four months and I was like, ah, why, man? Like, why the heck? And what I came to realize, guys, is because my mindset, the reason why I was failing, the reason why I kept going in circles, and I wasn't able to like, be consistent and stay, um, like build momentum, was because I thought it was an overnight success. I thought that is the quick fix, that the six weeks is like, I can do it. It's going to change it. It's, it's all good. I thought that I can change 10 years of bad habits within six weeks. Does that make sense, guys? The audacity that I had that I thought I could lose like 10, like I could lose all the weight that I put on within the last 10, 15 years, the habits that I've been able to do, like the binge eating, the emotionally eating, like keep procrastinating, exercising. I thought that I was going to be able to overcome those bad habits, 10 years of bad habits within what? Six weeks. And that was why I was stopping because my expectation was too high. 
And when I wasn't able to achieve it, I would stop and I would give up. And I was like, this is not the right thing. I had a quick fixed mindset. And so for you right now, when things changed for me was when I transformed my mindset and I said, you know what? It's going to take longer than six weeks. It's probably going to take me 12 months. And I said to myself, you know what, police? There's no such thing as perfect weight loss journey. It's a marathon, not a sprint. It's not just about the four weeks. It's not just about the six weeks, guys. It's going to take time. And when I say there's no such thing as a perfect weight loss journey, I mean there's no such thing as a perfect weight loss. It's not going to be like every single day for your journey from where you are right now to where you want to be within the next four months. Like reflecting on my journey within the last 18 months. The last 18 months. It hasn't just been like straight. No, it hasn't. It's been like up and then down, up and then down, up and then down. It's been crazy, guys. It's been, it's been like this. Let me show you. It's been like this. It's been, it's been an up and down experience. Can you see these guys? It's been like this. When I first started, I was going well. I went well for what, two, three weeks, and then I went back down. I went, went back to binge eating. I went and ate something. I overate. But then what I needed to do, I needed to bounce back and went back up again. And then I lost a couple of kilos again, and then I went back to my bad habit. And then I, kept, I went back. And then I just kept pushing forward. I just didn't stop, guys. My mindset changed. I was like, this is a marathon, not a sprint. And I went up, but then I went down. And so it was just a rocky, it was a rocky journey, guys, within the last 18 months. This is where power lies. Maybe one week you go back down, but then you come back up. And so if you think about it, me losing the 70 kilos within the last 18 months, it's been like this, guys. Even though it's been rocky, you notice it's gone up and down, up and down. Maybe the reason why I was up is I lost a couple of kilos, and then I went down because I overrate, I binge it, I went back to the bad habits. But then what? Snap back, snap back, snap back. Get back into mode. Don't dwell on things. Stop dwelling. Stop pondering. So if you notice overall, from 18 months ago to where I am now, losing 70 kilos, okay? If you notice it, it's always just been an up, up, up. It's just always been up. It's just been up. I've just been going up, right? Even though I've been coming down, overall, if you look in the last 18 months, in the space of the last 18 months, I've lost weight, put a bit weight back on, I've lost weight. And so what that does for you guys, what that done for me is that gave me hope. It gave me like, it gave me the, the, the it gave me like the hope that it's, that it's achievable. Does that make sense? And, the, and so for me, things change. And, and within the last 18 months, like, you know, every time I went through these bad experiences, like every time I went, I went, I went good for like two weeks or went good for one month. And then I fell off track within the last couple of days. I would just kind of get back into mode. And because I've been able to get back into mode, it's been able to help me on, on, on a long-term mode. Does that make sense? And so what you need to do right now is you need to shift from quick fix. You need to stop thinking that you're going to be able to change things within 21 days, within six weeks. Everyone out there will market to you. They will tell you because they, they know that you're impatient. They know that you just want to get out of pain. Does that make sense? And I fell for that track. But, but it wasn't until I changed things that I was like, you know what? It's going to take me longer, but you know what? Time is fast. True? Like time is unbelievably fast right now. Like who can agree on that? It's like already March 2019. It still feels like yesterday was the new year. So ultimately time is just going to go like this. Time is going to blink and you're going to be like, whoa, one year from today. Like if you think right now to one year, like, oh, wow, one year. Oh, that's so long, please. But that's, bro. Like doesn't it just feel like we're still in 2018? It's already 2019. So what I'm trying to say is like, even though it's a marathon, it's going to take time. But ultimately, if you look at it, one year from today, if you lost 50 kilos, how would you feel? One year from today, if you lost 70 kilos, how would you feel? Exceptional, true? And so one of the guys that joined my program was very, very similar. Now, Massey, he, he, he weighed over 330 kilos. He came into my community. He heard what I was doing. He's like, please help me out, man. Like I, I just live myself. It's just gone really, really bad. And one of the things that he's come to the realization, he's lost... He has lost 30 kilos within the last um, six weeks. And it's been crazy. It's been exceptional. But one of the things that you notice that he says here is he goes, having a plan and a schedule has helped me to create positive and permanently health, healthy long-term lifestyle changing habits. Life-changing life changing habits. Does that make sense? And so ultimately for you right now, when he shifted, when he shifted from fixed mindset, he told me, because I feel he's, Man, I used to just always be like 21 days, six days, six weeks. I would only go hard for the first January and then I fall off track. 
And as soon as you made it a shift from fixed to long term, that it's going to take longer than that, and that he's going to be the habits that he's had in the last twenty years, it's going to take longer than six weeks. He gained confidence, he gained uh, peace, he gained hope because he knew all he needed to do was just stick to the path. And if he fell off track, if he had a bad meal, if he had a bad meal within the last twenty four hours, forget about it. Stop thinking about it. And that's where power lies. Power lies means just forgive yourself. Forgive yourself, guys. The more quicker, this is the key, guys, the more quicker you can forgive yourself, the more powerful you become. The more quicker the result that you're going to get and the outcome that you're going to get. All right? Beautiful. So that's secret number one. So secret number two is very, very simple. Secret number two is how to stay motivated. How do you stay motivated? How did Felice stay motivated within the last 18 months every single day? Not just on Monday, just not when he watched the motivational video, just not when he was watching like, you know, a motivational a movie. But how do you stay motivated 24-7? Do you think it's achievable? Now, what I want to compare motivation to is a battery. If you think about a battery, if you use a battery, like your iPhone, right? Your phone has a battery. So what do you need to do continuously do for the phone to work? You continuously need to what? Charge it, right? The battery only lasts for so long. And so what I'm, what I'm trying to say to you is motivation is temporary, guys. Motivation is like a battery. I remember when I was over 200 kilos, I was falling asleep. I was driving. I was in real estate. I'm driving from house to house. And it's like the houses are like five minutes apart. And I'm falling asleep when I'm driving from one appointment to the other appointment. I said, this is not normal, man. I told my wife, I said, babe, I'm falling asleep, man. Like, I'm going to get into an accident. Mind you, I did get in a couple of accidents because I'm falling asleep. And then she goes, just go, go to the doctors. And I went to the doctors. I went to my local GP. And I said, doctor, like I'm falling asleep. I knew I was overweight. I knew I was big. I didn't actually know the reason why. And he's like, all right, this is what we're going to do. Um, I need you to go do a sleep, uh, a sleep test. I'm like, a sleep test? Like, what the heck? A sleep test? You they, and then the doctor told me, he goes, police, you might have what we call sleep apnea. I'm like, sleep apnea? What the heck is sleep apnea? So she goes, what basically is happening? Because you put a lot of weight around your upper body, when you go into sleep, you're not actually sleeping. You might be thinking that you're sleeping for six to eight hours, but because you you put on so much weight, the oxygen coming in is not is not much. And so you're not actually sleeping. You're, 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 you're asleep, but then you're waking up. Because the reason why you're waking up, because the oxygen is not coming through. I'm not trying to tell you technical. And, 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 and like basically the hose that's taking in the air is basically getting clocked up because he put on so much weight. And so she goes, you might have to sleep with a mask. I sleep with a mask. I said, are you serious? I'm only like 26, 25 years old. I'm not going to sleep with a mask. And so what she said I had to do is I had to go to a doctor. And then I went to the doctor. And then what I found, what I found out is that I had sleep apnea. What I found out is that I needed to go to the doctors. I needed to go to a specific sleep doctor. And this doctor was going to help me move forward. This doctor was going to be able to give me a CPAP machine and be able to help me sleep at night. And so what I did is I went and got the CPAP machine, you know, went and slept with it. I felt better and it motivated me, guys. It motivated me. I was like, ah, oh, I don't want to sleep with this CPAP machine anymore. I'm motivated. And I went out there and I relied on motivation to be able to stick to nutrition and stick to the exercise plan. But let me tell you this, because I was driven out of motivation, because I was only driven out of the energizer battery, I only lasted for so long, guys. Does that make sense? I only lasted for so long because I only lasted for so long. I only got a temporary result. Does that make sense? And so for you right now, you're probably, you're probably running with motivation. You have all the motivation in the world. True. You have your children, you have your spouse, you have your family, you got your life, your life is on the line. And even though you have all that motivation, you just can't seem to break through. And I get that. And so where power has been able to come for me, where I've been able to get true power and true certainty to keep me, like, stay motivated for longer than one hour, longer than one day, was this, guys, electricity. What I've been able to build within the last 18 months is habits, rituals, and routines. I have habits now. Think about this, guys. When you wake up in the morning, do you need motivation to brush your teeth? You don't, right? You don't need motivation to brush your teeth. You just wake up and you brush your teeth. If you're feeling motivated, you're feeling stressed, you're feeling ugly, you feel like you had a bad night, you feel like you're having a stressful day, it doesn't matter. You still brush your teeth. You still get that job done. Why? Because it's a habit. It's a ritual. It's a routine. And so imagine 
if you're able to have habits, rituals, and routines in your weight loss journey, how much more powerful would you be? How much more motivated would you be? Do you think you'll get a different result and a different outcome? Of course you will, because you're doing it every day. And so what you need to do is instead of relying on motivation, find and identify habits, rituals, and routines that you need to be able to apply to your journey so that you can get an X result. Does that make sense? What are the habits in your life that you need to attain right now? A nutrition, have a routine around nutrition, have a, nutri a, a routine around exercise. Like for me now, I have a simple routine between Monday to Friday, I'm at the gym between two o'clock to four o'clock. You follow me on Instagram, I guarantee you I'll be at the gym at that time. It's a routine, it's a habit. It's like brushing my teeth. It doesn't matter how I feel, it doesn't matter how unmotivated I feel, I still go to the gym because it's a routine. So for you right now, Think about it. What are the routines in your life right now that you need to change? And what are the routines that you need to attain? Now, Wendell, we joined my program about three months ago. It's very, very similar. He told me he was going to join my coaching program because he had to lose weight for like, he wanted to lose weight because he's going on holidays. He's like, you know what, Felice, I just want to jump in and just kind of test that out, test the program out because I just want to lose weight um, just for my holiday because I don't want to put weight on. So completely fine. Motivational. You're motivated. All right, let's go. He joined my coaching program and he's been with me since within the last four months. And what he's been able to do is he's been able to create a routine. The reason why he stayed with me, he changed the way he perceived weight loss. But more importantly, to him, he came to realize that routine and habits was more important. If you notice here, he's lost, I think he's lost about 20 kilos. But more importantly, he says, I try to eat clean four to five days a week, allowing myself to still eat, enjoy food, okay? I love in moderation and other days before, uh, below is a shot of a warm up circuit today before doing some deadlifts. So basically, what he's been able to do is been able to identify a routine and a habit. So that's all you need to do is you need to create a habit, a routine, a ritual and a routine for you. And once you put that in place, then you just apply it. And be, things become automated. When you have habits, when you have a nutritional habit around, when you have a nutritional routine, when you have an exercise routine, Things become automated. It's just like waking up in the morning and brushing your teeth. That is secret number two, guys. How cool is that? So ask yourself this question. What are the habits in my life now that I need to attain? Right? Maybe you have a habit of keep procrastinating. That's why you put on all this weight. I get it. So secret number three, very, very simple, guys. Isn't this exciting? How to not be discouraged and embarrassed along your journey. How to not be discouraged and embarrassed along your journey. Now I get it. I get it. It's, I was like exactly like this, this emoji here. About two years ago, I put myself out there on Facebook. I was like, you know what? I need to keep myself accountable to the world. And I got my phone and I got my wife and I said, wife, go live. And I recorded myself and I told the world, everyone on my Facebook page, I'm like, hey, like what I'm going to do right now, because I thought this was going to help me. I was like, this is what's going to give me that drive. This is what's going to give me that motivation. I put myself out in there and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I told him, I said, I weigh over 200 kilos. And I can show you this video. I said, I'll, I'll weigh over 200 kilos and I'm going to do whatever it takes to lose weight. And after I did that video, everyone was posting, everyone was commenting. Everyone was saying, Felice, you're doing an awesome job, exceptional, powerful. They're like, Felice, we got your back. Keep going, keep going. And it was cool because I was like, wow, I've got all this support. But what happened was, you know, even though I was like consistent, I lost a couple of kilos in the last, next couple of weeks. I realized by the end of the third or fourth week, I went back. I went back to the habits. I went back and I, was, I started to put on weight again. I started to lose routine. I started to lose motivation. And what happened was I knew that I needed to get back on track. I knew that I needed to start it. But to be real, I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed because everyone around me knew that I tried to lose weight. Everyone from church, from work, every time they'll see me, they're like, Felice, how's your weight loss journey? How's this? And I was like, oh. I felt embarrassed. I, I cringed and I stopped. I stopped, guys. I pulled back and I stopped. And the problem with stopping is that's not how you lose weight. Your body doesn't feel sorry for you. Like when you stop, when you when you're like embarrassed or you or you're frustrated, like your body doesn't care. Whatever you put in it is still gonna put on weight. And so I was like, it's not working. Like me stopping and feeling embarrassing is not working. And so what I came to realize. What I came to realize is this, guys. Failing forward. Every failure was a step, step closer to finding the right strategy. Let me say it again. Every failure was a, stepping, a step closer to finding the right strategy. 
And what I did is I shifted my mindset. I said, you know what? Like, stop focusing on the negative. Stop focusing that you're embarrassed. I said to myself, what have, what have, what have, what have I been able to learn about myself? And I shifted. I said, what have I been able to learn about myself in regards to nutrition and exercise? Okay, the exercise wasn't reasonable. It wasn't maintainable. Okay, stop it. That diet that I did, the no protein diet, it's not achievable, so stop it. And so what I came to realize, every time I failed, every time I failed, I was like, you know what? I'm a step closer to where I want to be. I'm a step closer to finding the right strategy. Does that make sense? So I tried the no keto drill. I started, tried the, the no protein diet. I tried doing, you know, going to the gym, you know, two times a day. It doesn't work. It wasn't sustainable for me at that time. And so what I'm trying to say to you is, instead of being embarrassed and feeling discouraged, shift your way of thinking and be like, you know what? The more I fail, the step closer I get to be to losing the ultimate, ultimate goal weight. Does that make sense? It's like a shift. And then what happens is you don't really become embarrassed. And you're like, you know what? It's okay. It's just going to take more failures. So you're like, you know what? I want to fail again. I want to fail again. And you have this mindset. You're like, I want to fail again. Because the more I fail, the more closer I get. Does that make sense? And so it becomes powerful because your mindset changes. And you're constantly trying to find a different solution. And that was for me. And I was like, wow, that's so cool. And so within the last 18 months, it's been a matter of failing, 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 succeeding, failing, succeeding. And that's why I'm able to share with you. That's why I'm able to share with you these simple strategies or these few secrets because I've learned from my failures. Does that make sense? So for you right now, ask yourself, like, how many times have you failed? You failed one or twice? Are you embarrassed? It doesn't matter. Who cares? Because it's, it's, it's a stepping stone for you. You're just one strategy away, guys. You're just one strategy away from boom. The one strategy that changed my life like dramatically is I said I'm going to simplify everything. I simplified my nutrition and I simplified my exercise plan. What I did is I went to my mate that, that lost like 50 kilos and said, give me your nutrition plan. I, he gave me his nutrition plan. And so, all right, this nutrition plan, I'm going to stick to for the next 21 days. Very, very simple. I'm going to stick to this nutrition plan for the next 21 days. I'm not going to eat anything other than what's on this nutrition plan. Very simple. Bang. The second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to run for 30 minutes every single day. For 21 days, I'm going to run for 30 minutes every single day. If I can't run, I'm just going to walk for 21 days. And I stuck to these simple strategies. I stuck to this. I ran or walked for 30 minutes a day, every day, six days a week, six out of seven. And then I, I ate the nutrition plan for 21 days. That's it. That's all I focused on. And then after that 21 days, guess how much I went? I lost. I lost 25 kilos. And was it sustainable? It wasn't sustainable, but it gave me that boost. It gave me that boost that I can do it. So I was like, all right, 25 kilos. So then I failed. I tried to do it again and I failed. I said, all right, why did I fail? But what I'm trying to say, guys, you're one strategy away. So if you stop, if you keep being embarrassed and frustrated, you're just one strategy away from breaking through. And that one strategy has led me to lose 70 kilos right now. You're one strategy away, guys. So the more you fail, the more closer you are to achieving your goal weight. Okay? So like I said, this this year, so basically what I'm showing you right now, in my coaching community, these guys, they, they send in their weight loss numbers every single week. And if you notice, like Massey, one of the, the top guys, he's the one of the biggest. But if you notice on the week to week, some names Joshua Johnson's in one week, and then the other week, the names are not there. But if you think about it, you know, maybe Joshua Johnson lost uh, one kilo last week and then this week he didn't lose weight. But it doesn't matter, guys. It doesn't matter. Even if he failed within the last week, he failed this week, or he's failing, you know, within, within a couple of days or the weekend, it doesn't matter because every week that he, every day that he keeps pushing forward, it's a stepping stone for him. Every week that he keeps pushing forward, he's able to learn and refine the system, refine his approach, refine his strategy. And so just going over all the three pillars, three secrets, you know, the number one secret is what? It's a marathon, not a sprint. Okay? The way to be able to stay motivated for 365 days is to be able to understand and shift your mindset that it's not going to take six weeks, 21 days. It's going to take longer. But time is fast. Time is just nonstop. Time keeps going. True? Number two, pillar number two, lasting motivation comes from within. Instead of relying on motivation, instead of relying on motivation like myself, I relied on, you know, oh, I had sleep apnea, I needed, you know, temporary motivation. I had to gain internal motivation. And what is that? Habits, rituals, and routines. True? Habits, rituals, and routines, what's going to enable you to get from point A to point B. Does that make sense? 
And number three, your failures, your failures are your stepping stone towards your success. Okay, the more you fail, the more closer you are to achieving your goals. And just like these men that I've been able to work with, these men that I work with, with myself, I'm a poly man, I'm a poly brother just like you. And these guys that I work with within the last four months, five months, these are the results that they're getting, guys. Okay, these are the results that they're getting. So let me ask you this. I've been able to show you, I've been able to share with you the three secrets. I've been able to share with you the, the secrets and what, you know, the men that I've been able to work with in myself and how it's been able to affect them and help them. Now, let me ask you this question. If you were able to apply these three secrets into your life right now, if you were able to apply these three secrets within your life right now, where do you think you'd be? Real talk, real question. If I was to help you stop stopping, and you just went hard, you stay consistent, you built momentum within six to 12 months, and you kept that in nutrition, you kept the exercise, would you get the result? If I helped you stay motivated longer than one hour, longer than one day, 365 days, if I kept you, built you, not just relying on battery, but actually electricity, would you get that result? And would you not be discouraged and embarrassed about your weight loss journey and understanding that it's a stepping, every time you fail a stepping stone and you're able to learn and refine your approach every time you move forward, where do you think you'll get? Where do you think you'll be within 12 months? Do you think you get your results? Of course you will. Because those are the three obstacles that everyone faces right now. I guarantee you, with the experiences and the, the secrets that I shared with you, you can relate to it. Why? Because you've been through it. But more importantly, you haven't been able to overcome it. And that's why I've, what I've been able to overcome. And so very, very simple. The agreement that I have with you, the agreement that I had with you before we started is that if you stay with me, if you give me your attention, I'm going to share with you the three secrets. But more importantly, I'm going to give you an opportunity to be able to apply this to your journey. I'm going to be able to get these three secrets and grab it. How do I help you stop stopping? How do I keep you motivated? How do I keep you going? How do I keep you, to, like, how do I enable you to become more confident and not embarrassed? Very, very simple. A simple opportunity. What I'm going to give to you is a free consultation. I'm going to give you an opportunity to jump on the phone with me. We're going to customize these three secrets to you right now for free because you've been able to watch this uh, webinar or this training until now. I want to share with you these secrets. I want to share with you these um, secrets so that you can break through, man. Come on. Ultimately, what it comes down to is you just want to get the outcome. And I get that part. I get that. You just want to help and break through. And I get it. Enough is enough, man. Enough of you feeling this way. I get it. Like, you're like, you know what? Felicia, it's March already, man. Like, I'm struggling, man. I need help, man. And what you're saying resonates with me. I get that. So look, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to offer to you because you've been with me within the last 20 minutes, 25 minutes. It's a free consultation. How exciting is that? And so let me ask yourself this question. If is 10 minutes of your time worth this result? So when we jump on the phone, it's going to take like 10 to 15 minutes. Very, very simple. I'm going to give you, I want to map out the strategy. I'm going to tell you what you need to do within the first week, two week, three week, four week. And I'll tell you the mindset. I want to tell you how you stop stopping within the first week, how to stop stopping within one month, how to stop stopping within two months, three months, four months, five months. How do I get you motivated to do it for six months and 12 months? Is it going to be worth it? Of course it's going to be worth it. Or are you going to continue watching information? Are you just going to continue watching videos, watching free videos and just kind of watching and just doing nothing. Just going through one hand, sounds good, makes you feel good, but then goes out the other end. No execution at all. Are you just going to continue doing that? Because that's not going to get your results, true. So when is the best time to start? The best time to start is right now, guys. Enough is enough. There's a reason why you're watching this video right now. There's a reason why you're here. And there's a reason why you're not where you want to be. Does that make sense? There is a reason why you're not meant to. So ultimately, if you want to get a different result and outcome, you have to change what you're doing. So what I want to do for you, very simple, is I want to customize the three secrets to you, my brother. Because my vision is to be able to help you become like me. And, and then once I help you become like me, like how do I help you deliver that to the world? How do we impact our families and, 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 and those around us so that we can live a better life? You deserve it, bro. You deserve it. You deserve this, man. Time is now. Enough waiting. It's March 2019. Let's get it. So what I want you to do 
is very simple. Go like slide, uh, just scroll below. There's going to be a link there. Schedule in the time that suits you, suits me. Make sure you show up to the, uh, that call and we're going to get everything done and dusted. Cool? I'm excited to be able to help you progress, but more importantly, break through in your journey because I believe in you. Much love and speak to you soon.